Hi, you guys. It has been a hot minute since I have been here on YouTube. I don't know if you even missed me. I'm sure you missed me. You missed me, right? Tell me you missed me, okay? So we got into the holidays, my kids were home, I was home, we were just focusing on togetherness and happy family time, and I let the YouTube slip a little, okay? But here's my commitment now to you that I am back, okay? Here is my schedule that I'm planning on, okay? Monday, we're gonna be going over different topics, okay? This is my fun day, I kinda of have a little bit of more flexibility here on what I want to talk to you guys about. Wednesdays, I'm gonna be posting workout videos, okay? And Friday is Fit Tip Friday, so these are gonna be shorter videos, more to, more to the point, straight to the point, and I'm just gonna be giving you fit tips every single Friday, okay? So today, we are talking about 10 reasons why you are bloated. Yes, you. Why are you bloated? I'm gonna tell you 10 possible reasons, okay? And then our fit tip this Friday actually is going to have to do with ways you can fix the bloating, all right? Okay, tip number one, most of us women know this one, it is PMS, okay? And honestly, there's not really anything you can do to get around this one. You just have to track your cycle and know it's coming, and if you're feeling bloated and your cycle's coming, know that's why, and just be okay with it, okay? It's fine. Happens to all of us. The key is just being aware of what's going on in your body. Number two goes right along with that, and that is hormones. So in our cycle, you guys, our hormones are gonna fluctuate, okay? Our estrogen is gonna be different at different times of our cycle, and that's gonna cause water retention, okay? So even apart from your monthly cycle, if your hormones are out of balance or off track a little bit, you're going to be having some water retention, okay? So if that is the case, if you feel like your hormones are off for whatever reason, I encourage you to find some sort of endocrinologist or a holistic doctor in your area that you can get some blood work done and go over some hormone options with that person. Okay, reason number three, you ate out last night. Even if you went to a healthy restaurant and ate according to your macros, chances are that meal was a little bit higher in sodium, likely higher in carbs, but for sure higher in sodium than something you would have cooked at home, okay? So when you have any sort of sodium that's above your normal, okay, don't get me wrong here, high, si high sodium diets actually don't make you cause water retention if you're consistent with it, okay? What causes water retention is spikes in sodium. So if you went out last night and you had a lot more sodium than you're used to, chances are you're waking up this morning feeling a little bit puffy, but it's not a big deal. It'll go away and kind of push through your body on its own. Okay, reason number four, you've been drinking a lot of diet soda. Now, I am not anti-diet Coke. Hear me out, I am not. I'm actually very pro-diet Coke. I don't wanna hear any hater comments, okay? I am pro Diet Coke and it is fine, but just know there's some artificial sweeteners in there and some carbonation that may make you feel a little bloated, okay? That is okay if you're trying, sometimes I drink a diet soda if I'm hungry and I'm not trying to eat yet or I don't have any food close by. I'll sip on a diet soda to kind of help my appetite. It kind of artificially fills you up for a minute, okay? So that bloating can sometimes be helpful if you're trying to feel a little bit full and tide you over to your next meal, okay? Um, but if you're feeling bloated and you've had a lot of diet soda recently, that could be one of the causes. Okay, the next reason, and this you may not be aware of, has to do with delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS, as people like to call it, okay? So a lot of times, if you had like a really, really hard leg day, hard leg workout, the next morning, if you're super sore, chances are your legs are gonna be holding on to some water, okay? So if you're, if you ever notice that your weight is up sometimes when you're, when you're really, really sore, that's why it's because your body's holding on to water. So your body's natural defense mechanism when something's going on, when there's some inflammation going on, is to hold water to kind of help fix that situation. So that has to do with a lot of soreness, a lot of water retention. Goes hand in hand. Okay, reason number six why you may be feeling bloated is you've had too many cruciferous vegetables. What? Too many veggies can be a bad thing. Well, they can make you feel bloated. They can make you feel a little gassy. They can kind of disrupt your digestive system if you're having too many and getting too much fiber. Yes, there is a thing as too much fiber and certain veggies, namely broccoli, cauliflower, onions, these are ones that can cause gas and bloating. So if you're having a lot of those, that could be why you're feeling bloated. 
Okay, reason number seven, you're eating too many foods that don't agree with you. So even if you're not lactose intolerant, even if you're not lactose intolerant, or even if you are not celiac, some people's bodies do have a harder time digesting these certain foods, okay? Common culprits are those veggies that I just mentioned. Also dairy, gluten, beans, certain things like that that you just have a hard time digesting. So if you have certain foods and you notice that you don't feel that good, you have a little bit more rumbly in the tumbly than you're used to, it could be because of those certain foods. So you might wanna try cutting those out for a couple days and see if you feel better. Okay, another reason why you may feel bloated or be holding some water is you are sitting too much. Okay, if you have a desk job and you're sitting all day long, get up and take some walks. 10 minute walks throughout the day will help your digestion and it'll help push things through you so you're not feeling so yucky and bloated. Okay, reason number eight why you may be feeling bloated is actually dehydration. So drinking enough water is going to help you from retaining water. I know that doesn't really make sense, but water is actually one of the most natural diuretics there is. If you start to become dehydrated and if you start to become dehydrated, your body's gonna fight back by holding on to water, okay? So if you notice that your water intake is down, try getting that up there and even overcompensate it by drinking a little more water for a while and that will help. Okay, another reason why you may be feeling bloated is that you're eating too fast. When you eat too fast, you can get too much air in your system. Air down in your belly is going to lead to bloating So slow down your eating, try to set your fork down between bites, chew really well, have a conversation with someone during your meal, make sure you're sitting, focusing on your meal and not doing a million other things at the same time and that will help. All right, the last reason is that you may be having too many artificial ingredients or sugar alcohols. I know for me, sugar alcohols mess me up. I get the major farts after a protein bar or something like that. So I don't do that very often. I try to stick to whole foods in my diet whenever I can, but even sometimes I'll notice if I have too much artificial ingredient or artificial foods, like even things that we think are healthy, like even mixes like Kodiak cakes, protein powder. Um, I already talked about bars, just things like that that are not strict whole foods. If I have too much of them, I can sometimes feel it in my belly. So those things are totally fine in moderation. But if I start noticing that every single meal has got some sort of powder or mix in it, that's when I know for me personally, I need to cut it back. So the last thing I wanna say, it's not one of my top 10, because I've already gotten through 10, but if you are having extreme bloating, you may want to see a doctor because there might be an underlying medical concern um, that is more serious than any of these little things that I have mentioned. But at the end of the day, you guys, it is actually normal to get a little bloated, okay? It is normal to wake up in the morning and be like, on top of the world, because you got this nice flat tummy, and at the end of the day, just be like, mm, I feel like I have a food baby. Or maybe you feel like you even have a real baby in there. Uh, it's totally normal, you guys, that is okay. As we go throughout the day, we're drinking a lot of water. We are ingesting food that it will sit in your stomach and in your core for a little while before you actually digest it and eliminate it. So this is normal. Don't be too alarmed. Don't go too crazy trying to fix your bloating, okay? Just keep in mind that there is some normal normalness here. And sometimes you just have to be okay with it, and that is okay. All right, you guys, if you have any questions about bloating or any other ideas on how you can help bloating, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Also leave some questions below, and I will use those questions for my future videos. All right, you guys, I am reinventing this channel, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.